even within the preseason, I'm curious, coming back and, and getting back into the the deep pool of the NFL's preseason, what's something that has maybe surprised you or stood out that you think has some juice that could carry over into the regular season? Well, I'll just say this. The idea that the Tennessee Titans have Tony Pollard and Ty J Spears. I mean, I, I, I watched Tony when he was at Memphis. I watched him when he was at Dallas. Him and Ty J Spears give Brian Callahan not just great pass protectors, but this guy's ability. No longer will defenses be able to say, oh, there's Derrick Henry, they're running the ball. Or they're gonna run the ball. Uh, there's no Deion Lewis flashbacks. They can both run up between the tackles. They can both catch the ball out of the backfield. They can both pick up blitz uh, packages and protect people. So that, and even with DeAndre Hopkins out, you know, for a few weeks with the knee injury that happened while I was overseas, and, you know, even with him out, this receiving core. Now, I know that yesterday Will Levis did not connect with Calvin Ridley, but he connected with a six-round pick uh, that I can't even remember his name. Um, they have got the deepest receiving core that I've seen. And I think people are starting to pick up on this. Uh, Greg Cosell, uh, who breaks down film better than almost anyone watching the NFL, he is in town for yesterday and today watching these teams practice. And I'm really curious to start hearing what he take, his take on it. But uh, it, people seem to be picking up on the fact that, hmm, Tennessee might have something cooking. Hmm. I actually saw a breakdown putting them in the seventh uh, playoff spot a couple of days ago, So, uh, which is funny. 19 in the last 20, 21 years, somebody has gone from first, worst to first in the NFL in a division. Last year it happened in the AFC South with the Texans. I fully expect the Titans to be competitive this year just because of the joy. Although, the one strangest thing, check my social on X, Will Levis doing Joey, the, the fragrant spritzing uh, mm -hmm. salesman yesterday. For And if you haven't seen the commercial, go find it. I hyperlinked it to we, my we show, We showed it yesterday. <laughs> it, my son sent it to me Tuesday. And I'm sorry, it, it, it's, it's hilarious. It's the kind of thing that should be on SNL. And he did it with, and he said, I did it with all seriousness because that's how I do everything. And yes, he did dip the finger into the mayonnaise jar and lick mm. it. And he, he was offering up squirts, uh, spritzes <laughs> of the cologne after he finished talking to reporters. And it's like, nope, I, I don't. You didn't want it. Up. You didn't smell I, it. I smelled it on the other guys. I'm okay. allergic to most perfumes, but okay. it it had a nice citrusy smell. Mm. It's supposed mm. to have some musk and coffee notes. Yes. Uh, one reporter tweeted that later it started to smell like mayonnaise. Oh. I'm I'm just saying that. Like an after helmet. smell. I wish yeah. I had been there for Will Levis to squirt on. Go away. You're the worst. Hey. Oh. It, it, it's hey, a spritz. Just to talk of Hellman's is making me want a BLT. What can I say? Yeah, uh, it does. It sounds good. The sixth round pick you were talking about, Teresa, that's Jaquan Jackson, who was the receiver out of Tulane. Anthony in the chat wanted to know which of the late round picks or undrafted free agents has created the biggest buzz for themselves. Sixth round pick, that's, that's later. Is he the guy that you think has kind of emerged into that territory? He is one of them for sure. But do not sleep on Gabe uh, Judy Lolly. And now he's known in the state for having played at Vanderbilt and then transferring to Tennessee last year. And he was working in, you know, Jadobi Wuze has got a calf issue keeping him out right now. He was walking around on the field in a jersey. So that's a sign that he's getting closer to returning. Legereus Sneed, who they traded for from the Chiefs, is on a management plan. Gabe Judy Lolly is the guy who was getting reps with the ones on defense yesterday and that was happening back in june take that you always take off-season program stuff with a box of salt but the fact that he's getting that now in joint practices big sign hmm. and then the guy opposite him uh number 29 and and yeah i'm still trying to put i mean some of these numbers i'm flashing names to numbers with, exactly so it would but gabe judy lolly is a guy who has quickly kind of surpassed trey avery He's getting a look in joint practices. That's the guy to keep an eye on because while they've got, you know, and Quandre Diggs, you know, they signed him last week. He was working with Imani Hooker at safety. So 
it, it's really interesting to see all these new faces. But keep an eye on those two guys as undrafted late round picks that are going to have a chance to not just make this roster, but be in the mix for some rotational playing time. The Jessica Benson Show with C.J. Hurt, live every weekday at 8 a.m.